Canada isn't precisely a famous winter escape spot for Americans, and Gimli, Manitoba, a residential area arranged around 60 miles north of Winnipeg, isn't even a mainstream winter goal for Canadians. In any case, we have an inclination that would all change if more individuals thought about the shouting great time they could have driving a 603 horsepower Mercedes AMG E63 S on ice. A 400 section of land area of Lake Winnipeg, once it is well and really solidified, fills in as the North American home of Mercedes AMG Driving Academy's winter sporting project, where a couple of thousand dollars can buy a few days of hooning around under the cautious guideline of about six genuinely talented flow teachers, maybe the best time that can be had as that scope any place on earth. You could travel more distant for this experience, as we completed three years prior. AMG likewise offers the program in Arjplog, Sweden, another 16 degrees of scope north and many, numerous more hours of air travel away. By examination, Manitoba is in our backyard, and the reserve funds on airfare and time squandered in airplane terminals could give you a chance to move up to the main three-day pro program. When we touched base in Gimli, the winter driving season was nearing its end and the autos in the current year's armada of overwhelmed AMG machines, CLA 45, C63S, and E63S, each fitted with an arrangement of hand studded lappy snow tires, had just experienced a long time of frigid torment on account of Mercedes' very much obeyed demographic. The autos looked hardly the worn out. Albeit strong metal toe guides were penetrated into the guards in the event that one were to wind wedge too far into a snowbank to enable a basic push to free it. Before we were set free on the ice, lead teacher Danny Cock held forward on the life systems of a decent float and a concise classroom session. We were beseeched to utilize hand over hand controlling as opposed to what Cock named the rearrange method. The exemplary guidance of guiding into a slip was rejected as too simple to confuse, the thought was reframed as guiding toward the path we need the auto to go. Looking, as well, toward your proposed travel, rather than in whichever course the nose of the auto happens to be pointed, was hailed as a critical system that will enable drivers to figure out how to instinctively control a slide. Once on the ice, we were given abundant time to encounter the three collected powertrains. Inside a couple of hours, we proceeded onward from cautious experimentation and were chipping away at refining our traps. Occasionally, between progressively eager and top-notch floats, an excessively excited handover or misconceived go to the gas pedal made the tires peel free of the ice underneath us as they lost footing, and the auto started to turn. This all felt wired and transgressive, and nobody was very prepared to hand over the keys when our day was finished. Nowadays, spent on the lake were something beyond a decent time, however. We'd bet that each individual who has finished this course returned home a more secure, more gifted, and more certain driver than when he or she landed in Genley. That is a utilization of optional salary we can get behind.